Welcome to the morning prayer meeting. If you have the Bible, look at the Proverbs chapter 17. Proverbs chapter 17, verse 22. Proverbs chapter 17, verse 22. A cheerful heart is good medicine, but a crushed spirit dries up the bones. Do you have the cheerful heart, joyful heart, yeah, wonderful heart, beautiful heart, cheerful heart, full of joy, gladness in your heart? Cheerful heart is good medicine. The Bible speaks about good medicine. Do you have medicine? Good medicine. You, know, you cannot buy this medicine. This medicine comes from Almighty God. This cheerful heart. And the cross of spirit dry up the bones. Have you seen the, some people uh, attended the conference, some big meeting? They come to the meeting with a wheelchair or some stick and clutch. They couldn't walk properly because of back problem, neck problem, or bones. But amazingly, after the fresh worship or you know, during the fresh worship, healing, healing come. And then they, some, I saw that, they leap of the day, wheelchair, you quite heavy. You did a leap of wheelchair. Miracle. It's a miracle. But why this kind of happening? Because cheerful heart, full of joy in the presence of the Lord, full of gladness in the strong presence of God. That is why this cheerful heart is a, Best medicine, good medicine. Therefore, don't lose your cheerful heart. You have to know how to keep the cheerful heart all the times. Cheerful heart is a good medicine. Unfortunately, most of people, they lose the cheerful heart to the circumstance. When the circumstance is bad, cheerful heart is gone. And the situation is better, wonderful, praise God, the cheerful heart is a comeback. I talk about the those who are born again Christian, but you need to know how to keep the cheerful heart all the time. It's good medicine. Do you understand? We call the, in South Korea, in Korean word is a, all the testament is a gu yak. Yeah. New testament is a chin yak, which means uh, old testament is a old medicine. New Testament is new medicine, <laughs> we call it like that. Yak means medicine. Actually, this is the best medicine. <laughs> best medicine in the world is Gu Yak Sin Yak, which is uh, old medicine, new medicine. We need all of them, from Genesis to Book of uh, Revelation. Good medicine. What is good medicine? A cheerful heart is a good medicine. How many of you have cheerful heart right now? Well done. <laughs> you have cheerful. It's good medicine, brother. Good medicine. Yeah, it's very mm, wonderful medicine. It's cheerful heart. If you look at the Proverbs chapter 4, verse 23. Above all else, guide your heart, for it is the wellspring of life. Do you understand? This morning I would like to talk about the heart. Proverbs chapter 4, verse 23, above all else, which means this is most important in your life, which is a heart. Guide your heart, for it is a wellspring of life. Yeah? Blessings, curses come from your heart. Proverbs chapter 4, verse 23, guide your heart. Don't lose your heart. If your heart is unstable, you are an unstable man. One woman. <coughs> your heart is very, very important. I saw that brother John, you preaching in front of the modern station. You say, I was homeless, now Jesus changed my life. You're going to preach again today. <laughs> Do you understand? Guide your heart. Guide your heart is very important. Oh God, above all else. Guide my heart, for it is a wellspring of life. Yeah. Joy, life, blessing. 
grace and mercy come from your heart. Actually, Jesus lives inside of your heart. You no longer live, but Christ lives in you. If you truly Christ lives in you, your heart is a, is a cheerful heart. Your heart is a is a um, the the wellspring of life, full of lo- love and joy and peace. And then you know, Book of Proverbs is an amazing book. Speak about uh, our life. Most uh, wisdom book yeah, in the Bible is Book of Proverbs. Look at the Proverbs chapter twelve, verse twenty-five. Proverbs chapter twelve, verse twenty-five say, "Anxious heart, an anxious heart, weighs man down, but a kind word cheer him up." You see. Do you have an anxious heart, stressful heart, too much worry in your heart? Yeah, you need to kick it out. An anxious heart weighs a man down. Hmm? I think it's a anxious heart is opposite of a, a cheerful heart. Do you understand? Therefore, you need to know how to rule your heart, how to guide your heart. By His word, cast your burden onto Jesus. He care for you. Yeah, and an uh, anxious heart is not good for your spiritual life. Yeah, do you have any weary burden? Come to Jesus. Jesus, say, come unto me. Who has got a weary burden? I will give you rest. You can have a mighty rest in your heart. An anxious heart weighs a man down. A kind word cheer him up. Kind word. What kind of kind word? Word of encouragement. Kind word. Can you say to each other, "You are a wonderful man of God." Say to each other, "You are a wonderful woman of God." Mm-hmm. Yeah, woman of God. Man of God. Kind word. The word of encouragement cheers him up. It's so important. Therefore. If you have the anxious heart, pray. <coughs> Don't keep the anxious heart continually. Yeah, for me, if an anxious heart try to come into my heart, I kick it out within one second. I don't allow. I don't allow. It's up to you. You need to exercise. How can you kick out the anxious heart and receive the cheerful heart? You know, you need actually your heart is the most important part of your life. Your heart, in your body, here is very important. That is why most of soldiers and police they put the bulletproof jacket here. It's very important to play here. We put the breastplate of righteousness in here, cover it. Yeah, his heart. You must. Uh, Kicking out the anxious heart by what? By prayer. Cast your burden onto Jesus. He will care for you. Why you worry? Don't worry about anything. Yeah, anxious heart is terrible. Weighs a man down. If you have anxious heart continuously, if you have worry and stressful worry, at least three years, most of people get cancer. Very dangerous. Kicking out anxious heart, but have a kind word, cheer him up. Also, you need to know how to encourage yourself. If everybody against you, no one say, you know, no one supporting for you, no one cheer up, cheer, cheer, cheer up for you, no one exhort you or, you know, you know, sub- encourage you. You need to know how to encourage yourself. When David, David, he, you know, his David's camp attacked by enemy. Enemy came to the, you know, David's camp and kidnapping the women and children. They didn't care. They took it. Do you know how many? Six hundred of the David's people. They are cry. They are upset. And then when they cry and upset, they always uh, find out the. The leader to be blamed. They tried to kill David. No one supporting poor David. Do you know what David did? 
David, he encouraged himself by God. Nobody encouraged him, but he knows how to encourage himself. You need to know how to encourage yourself. Yeah? Therefore, don't keep an anxious heart in your heart. If you have an anxious heart, wait a man down, depressed, anxious heart, stressful. And then, you know, too much. You are unstable. I saw who is an unstable man or a stable man. If somebody has anxious heart all the time, <coughs> we call that, this kind of people like um, they have the ADHD. <laughs> this, uh, they, they, don't, they, they, they don't have a proper, uh, proper, you know, um, cheerful heart. Kicking out the anxious heart. Keep the cheerful heart. Look at the Proverbs chapter 15, verse 13. Proverbs chapter 15, verse 13 saying, Oh, happy heart. Can you see that? There's so many kinds of heart. Anxious heart, happy heart, cheerful heart. Oh, happy heart. Have you heard about the Happy Mac in the McDonald's? Yeah, happy, <laughs> happy meal. Right? Happy, happy meal. Happy heart makes the face cheerful. But heartache, the crushed spirit. You see, you must uh, know how to keep a happy heart in your life. Happy heart makes the face cheerful. When I look at the face, I know you have the happy heart or anxious heart. Can you look at each other? You can see that you have a happy heart. <laughs> Happy heart is very, very important. Yeah? You have a happy heart, John. Yeah. Good. Good to have a happy heart. Good to have the cheerful heart. It's blessing. Wonderful. Yeah. Therefore, uh, if you look at the even chapter 15, verse 30. Proverbs chapter 15, verse 30. A cheerful look brings joy. Cheerful look brings joy to the heart again yeah good news give head to the bones you see what you need you need a good news what you need you need a joy yeah if you have joy to your heart automatically you have a happy heart automatically you have a cheerful heart therefore joy is uh, like the the fountain of a cheerful heart and happy heart. Do you understand? If you see there's some fountain, the water come out from from the from the fountain. Do you know? Joy coming. Yeah. Joy of the Lord is what? Your strength. Joy of the Lord is my strength, your strength. We have to have the joy of the Lord. Yeah. Therefore a cheerful look brings joy to your heart. Yeah. If you receive the joy in your heart, yeah. If you have joy in your heart, you know what happened? You what you have? You have a cheerful heart. You have a happy heart. <laughs> yeah. You have joy. How can you, how can you keep the anxiety, anxiety heart? No possible. Do you know the good news angel? Who is a good news angel? Have you heard about them? Good news angel bring the good news to the people. Gabriel, okay. Gabriel. Gabriel is good news angel. Sometimes, two times, you receive news from your parents, from your wife, from your children, from somebody. Good news angel working very hard. Sometimes I called my mommy in South Korea and she said something, oh, wonderful news. It's good news angel. Beautiful. Therefore, good news gives help to the bones, good news. For me, in any situation, is a good news. Do you understand? Jesus is a good news. If you have Jesus, you have good news all the times. Can you look at the <coughs> Proverbs chapter 4, verse, sorry, Psalm chapter 4, verse 7. Book of Psalm. Psalm chapter 4, verse 7, 
you have filled my heart with greater joy than when their grain and new wine abound. You have the greater joy. Imagine, fill my heart with greater joy than any other material thing, their grain and new wine or any things. Do you know joy come from Almighty God? Happy, original meaning of happy, happy come from happen. Do you understand? If you have a good happen, you can have a happy. But joy come from Almighty God. The fruit of the Holy Spirit, love, joy, peace. That's the fruit of the Holy Spirit. Joy. Actually, is amazingly, some, some scientists and even medical uh, doctors, they discover something. When you want laughing, have you, have you seen that laughing? One laughing, you, you extend another four days to live. Four days longer life, one laughing. Some people easily to laugh, easily to have joy. Some people always a serious man, <laughs> never smile, never joy. Don't do it like that. Yeah? Oh God, you have filled my heart with greater joy. Yeah? How many of you need a joy? I need a joy. Every day of your life, every second, full of joy inside of you. This is what God wants. Joy of the Lord is your strength. God wants to give you full of joy. Do you know that? Joy. Rejoice always is possible. Rejoice always is possible. Yeah? We listened last Sunday. Of course, rejoice always, pray continually, give thanks in all our circumstances. When you give thanks and uh, easily to rejoice and easily to pray, we listened to the message last Sunday. Then I have good news for you. What is good news? Because of Jesus lives inside of you, you can rejoice always. Look at the John chapter 16, John 16, 23 and 24. Jesus speak like this, John 16, 23. In that day you will no longer ask me anything. I tell you the truth, my Father will give you whatever you ask in my name. Can you ask? In the name of Lord Jesus. And verse 24, until now you have not asked for anything in my name. Ask, and you will receive. And your joy will be complete. You see? Ask the Lord. If you ask, you'll receive joy. Yeah, you'll receive joy. Joy of the Lord is your strength. Ask the Lord. Lord, do you know when you get the catch answer by your prayer, how do you feel? So happy, yeah? So excited. You ask something and you receive the answer. That is why God says your joy will be complete. You ask for something. And God answer you. How do you feel? So happy and full of joy and gladness. Glad, so happy. Exciting. That is why Jesus asked, you will receive and your joy will be complete. You need to ask. Ask the Lord. Ask the Lord. Yeah? Ask, you shall receive. Seek, you will find. Knock, door will be open for you. You have to ask the Lord. Actually, this is a commandment. Philippians chapter 4, verse 4. Easy to remember. 4 4. Philippians. Rejoice in the Lord. How often? Always. Rejoice in the Lord. Always. I will say again. Rejoice. Amen. Rejoice. Rejoice in the Lord. Always. I will say, say again. Rejoice. Rejoice, 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 rejoice in any circumstance, rejoice always, rejoice in the Lord always, this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus, when you have a full of joy, 
you never lose your cheerful heart. Never lose your happy heart. Rejoice in Christ Jesus. You can kick out the anxiety, kick out the, you know, worry and stress in your heart. Your heart is most important part of your life. So how can you guard your heart? Rejoice in the Lord. Let's pray. Can you touch your heart? I can pray for you. Dear Heavenly Father, we touch our heart. Help me. Help us to guide our heart. And then we have a full of joy. God, fill us, our heart, with a great joy. Thank you, Jesus. Because we have the great joy in our heart, we have a cheerful heart. We have a happy heart. We never have an anxiety heart. Well, we thank you. Jesus lives in us. We're kicking out anxiety, stress, all kind of worry. Catch our burden unto Jesus. He'll care for us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Keep on praying for mission to Africa and uh, pray for Harvey. And, and uh, God will keep him. And then God will bless him. Also, pray for this morning. We'll go to Modern Station again. <laughs> we'll go there, Modern. It's a wonderful place. The nine people gave their life to Jesus. And then six of the leaf left. And we did you we distribute yesterday we do it again we're gonna have a good time today also this afternoon three to five we go to Brixton yeah, Brixton is uh, my favorite place actually I used to work in there and I was chaplain in Brixton prison for 20 years Brixton is a beautiful place and again last Saturday somebody <laughs> tried to kill me by a <laughs> broken bottle <laughs> still beautiful wonderful place God bless have a good day